or one of the best parts about being in a motorcycle club is when your brothers call you and say, hey, I'm passing through. Let's get lunch. So that's what we going to do. Peace. Sometimes we underestimate the power of connecting with someone. Some call it friendship, some call it goodwill, but I, for this instance, will call it brotherhood. And every organization expresses it in some form or fashion, but the reality is that it's just not the case. And whatever you are a part of, you will wanna make sure that everyone is on the same page like a Google Doc. But unfortunately, some just don't type their part. Brotherhood is a construct that is the work of two individuals who put the time, the energy, and the effort into ensuring that each other is okay. That each other knows that if we call, we're coming. That if we're down, we'll pick each other up. And don't believe for a second that it's given to you if you join something. You have to put the work and the time in, like asking for a day off. Then if you don't, you'll get your feelings hurt like that first breakup. I'm good. Hey, I'm good. You gotta, the you gotta tell the audience about about your bike, man. What's his name? First of all, first of all, introduce yourself, brother. Uh, introduce yourself. What's going on, bro? Hey, it's good to see everybody. This is uh, Freeze from uh, Love on Two Wheels. Yeah. Peace out. That's right. This Freeze. right here, if you follow my channel, you'll know this is Stella. Stella came in my life about, yeah, I want to say about March. She's been all over the country so far. I just came out here to. We're gonna hang out a little bit. I've already done my miles for the year, so I'm just adding on right now. Yeah. We're gonna get us something to eat. We're gonna holler at y'all in a little bit. My man Freeze is GQ. Peace. It was a cold, sunny morning, and I'm glad I got to meet my bro who had rolled in from Birmingham. And of course, it's always a good time when we can get some miles in. And soon enough, we hopped back on the interstate. And that wind was chilling and kind of disrespectful. And it almost made me mess with my plugs like a curious infant. But it wasn't worth it because we would be taking a short ride back to the city. But with days like this, you should never take them for granted. Especially this time of year. Because most of the country is covered in snow like Lambeau Field during the playoffs. So getting the opportunity to ride safely on the highways should never be taken for granted. Riding with my bros always create the fondest memories. And that's no different from those who hunt together, those who fish together, hike together, or do anything else for that matter outside of their daily routines, which brings relief and comfort like when you rub Icy Hot on you after pulling that muscle. So we continued our ride over the bridge, shaking in the sight of water around us while we rumbled closer to the city. I do my best to try to bring my cameras along with me every ride because it's always something unique and fun to document. And some of those moments you'll never get back in time. So trying to freeze them in place is always cool like an ice tray in a refrigerator. Take it somewhere local, you know what I'm saying? You can, you know, get some good food. So what time you left this morning? My plan was leave at 4.30. Uh -huh. But if you're waiting on folks, which is why I don't wait on people no more. <laughs> if you're waiting on folks, you end up leaving much later than you know than you would yeah. have it really expected. Yeah. So I really didn't leave Birmingham to about 6, 6.15 this morning. But the good thing was some of that frost had died out because it was 20 something degrees this morning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it, it never did get warmer. It, it really did make a difference. The only, only difference was that I was able to see. It was a little bright. It was just a little, the sun was starting to come up. Yeah. But outside of that, it was cold. I was plugged in the whole way you see. So, 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 so what kind of gear you got on? So, and this is part of my video I did last time. So, first gear and hot wired. Okay. Got them, got them kind of combination together. Couldn't get everything at one time. 
sweater, leather. You gotta have the leather. 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 And let me tell you something. To cut the wind, rain suit. Mm. People don't understand, that's the secret right there. Cause the wind's gonna come, it's gonna find every little spot to come in. So get you a rain suit, cut that wind out. You got it. Plug in gear, heated gear, leather, rain suit. Ski pants. And ski pants. And ski pants. Yeah. Snow boots work really well. They do. They work extremely yeah, well. Insulated. Yup. Yeah. So I got the heated socks on. I got the heated socks too. Heated socks. And so best thing happened. My toes are about to fall off. I swear. Mm. My toes are gonna be on I-2059s. <laughs> But yeah, man, look, we, we out here um, grabbing us something to eat at Pee Wee. Got to make sure my man good, man. What would you say is like the absolute must to travel long distance in cold weather outside of, you know, making sure you have proper gear? On. You need to hydrate. You've got to hydrate. I'm, and I'm going to tell you something. When you go through that desert, if you're going long distance, if you're going through that desert and you're not hydrated, probably gonna get airlifted up out of there. There's no hospital nearby. There's no dealership nearby. You gotta stay hydrated. Look out for one another. All right. And you're going through areas like New Mexico, Texas. Texas ain't nothing but a desert. In the summertime, it's blistering hot. In the wintertime, it's freezing cold. cold. And in the spring and fall, it's hot in the day, freezing, freezing at, night. at night. I would not recommend riding at night. Can't see anything. Things can see you, and you don't want to see those things that can see you out there at nighttime. B. Oh, look, it came already. Yes. That's how we serve it up, y'all. It's coming. Y'all see that right now? Yes, sir. Y'all see that work right now, yes, bro? Yes, sir. This is going to put me to sleep. I want to I got a cotton bag, man. <laughs> With your boy. Yes, sir. Did GQ say he got you? I, if I say I got you, I got you. He got you. you. Y'all know about this? This right here, this is something serious. You gotta be like, man, I gotta figure out what's going on. Yeah, you don't, you don't care. <laughs> you gotta find it. You have Look, if I don't make it to my destination, I'm gonna be calling you for real. <laughs> <laughs> And with full stomachs and high off laughter, I had to get my bro back on the interstate as he had many, many more hours left in the saddle. And as much as I enjoyed relaxing and showing him a good time, the show definitely had to go on. So I happily escorted him back to the highway. And as we got further away from the city, it was time for us to break apart. But it wouldn't be for long until we meet again. And if you enjoyed this ride, please consider watching my other rides here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And this is your man, GQ, the leader of the Peace Army, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you and peace out until we meet again.